Welcome along guys. Well I finally managed to get my hands on, thanks to Destination Triumph, the new 2020 Speed RS. I've had a lot of people ask me when am I going to try the Speed RS. I've tried the Street RS of course. This is the litre, well 1050cc litre bike version of the Street, the big boy. So let's take it out on these so far dry roads, excluding these great big clouds which are coming over, and let's see what it's like. This is one I've been looking forward to. Ooh, she sounds fruity. Well, I'm going to go straight for the customizable user mode, where I have already turned off the traction control. <laughs> You can tell what sort of test ride this is going to be. I've ridden in the past the old Speed Triple, the 2015 version, I think is what I've tried before. Um, this is obviously the new one. For this, for 2020 or the end of last year, Triumph did a lot of updates to this bike. They went through the whole bike. They put 105 changes to the engine alone, including a bit more power, 10% more power. It now puts out 145 brake horsepower. 117 newton meters of torque there's another seven percent more torque as part of that rework they've lined the barrels now with fancy coatings they've put higher lift cams in it they've basically done as much as they can with this 1050 engine they've also worked on the gearbox they, you know, they've, they've been through the chassis the rs version now not only has the olin's ttx rear shock which is the same as the 765 Daytona. It also has the Olin's forks as well, which are absolutely gorgeous. And the ride on this is so smooth. This engine is so smooth, and the suspension is so compliant, yet sporty. I do love a bit of gold bling. <laughs> you can't beat it. Oh. Being a triple, you do get a bit of both worlds. You get some extra top end and you also get loads of grunt, which I'm a big fan of grunt, a big fan of torque. This thing, this, this new engine, or the new engine, this reworked engine, makes more, power, more torque throughout the entire rev band. So this thing was already torquey. Now you've got that extra bit of punch. Oh, it's been raining. We've got wet roads. We've got the traction control off. It's only six and a half degrees. There was perhaps some snow forecast this afternoon and it looks like it could still be coming. So, uh, oh, traction control off. Is that the most sensible thing to do, chops? Should we turn it back on? Nah. So first thing to notice about riding this is it's very comfortable as I mentioned, it's super smooth. This engine is silky smooth. It's a really nice place to be. It's got a lot of torque, but it's not egging me on to go silly on it. When I get on a Tuono, I just go silly. I think this, this is feeling like perhaps a more sensible growing up bike. Oh yeah. I mean, it may not be the fastest on paper, <laughs> it's bloody quick. More than enough. And with those arrow pipes, those, those arrow pipes are standard on the RS. It sounds beautiful. Oh yeah. This one has the optional quick shifter and blipper. Unfortunately, it's, it doesn't come standard with the quick shifter and blipper like the street RS does. Which is a surprise. I mean, this bike is 13,600. So it's actually a reasonable price for a bike with full Olin's forks and rear shock. That is pretty darn cheap. Unfortunately, now it's rained. It means I'm not gonna be able to fully test out the handling, which is really irritating when it was dry. But I can tell the bump management, the feel of it, it feels absolutely beautiful. There's no denying that gold bling makes a hell of a difference to how a bike rides. It's bloody good stuff. Come on.
comes with Brembo brakes. It doesn't have the M50s, but it has the M40s, which are almost as good. And it's got the full RCS master cylinder, like the street has got, with the adjustable positions for your oil capacity in the lever to fine-tune the braking to exactly how you want it plus of course the span adjuster but we'll go through all that when we do the walk round position feels quite Tuono like it's definitely more Tuono like than Super Duke you're forward a little bit your feet are tucked back quite a lot I'd say maybe even more than the Tuono and you've got a little bit of weight on your wrists but it's my preferred position I like this sporty sports naked position I think it'd be great on track in this position also the steering lock it's about the same as a Tuono. It's not fantastic for a bike which is built to be a naked, you know, it's not a converted sports bike. I would have expected perhaps a little bit more steering lock than that, but uh, I could certainly live with it. Quick shift is lovely, even between first and second is pretty good. It's sort of not the fastest of change, it's sort of a slow change. I know Triumph have done some work to the gearbox. We've now got a dirty one. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of fun. I like it. I don't like the weather though. Actually, let's go into Goodwood and do a little walk under the bike in Goodwood. There you go, we're bringing you classic Goodwood for the walk round. Cannot be bad. So there she is, outside the famous Goodwood motor circuit. So for 2020, these are the latest colours for the RS. Of course, this RS was available last year, and personally, I actually prefer the colours which were on it last year. I'm not sure I'm 100% sold on this matte black and fluorescent sort of green finish to it. I don't, it's growing on me, but it does, it's not as striking as like the Street RS's graphite grey colour, I love that. The first thing that screams out, look at me, is these delicious high level arrows. Standard on the RS. Those pipes with the single sided swinging arm look absolutely delightful. I know high level pipes, they, had, they bring a bit of weight higher up the rear of the bike. They probably make it affect the handling slightly but I just love them up there. Next on the list of deliciousness is the full Olin's forks. Gold stanchions, of course, with the Olin's. Olin's on the bottom there and the Brembo M40 calipers. Why they've gone for the M40 and not the M50 like on the street, when the M50 is a better caliper, supposedly, not quite sure, but they work absolutely fine. It's certainly not lacking in braking. Carbon fiber, little radiator shrouds on the side, they're lovely. The pipes also have genuine carbon fibre shrouds on the exhaust and the carbon fibre tip. Other nice little touches, the Speed RS emblem on the top yokes is very nice. It's also keyless, it's also keyless, so it's all fully automatic keyless ignition. And this switch gear is actually illuminated. Dashboard, five inch TFT. It's also, it's got five different rider modes changeable layouts. I actually prefer these clocks to the, the new Street Triple. I prefer the rev counter layout. I prefer the, the look and feel of the actual clocks themselves. It's a disgusting mess. Now it's rained, which is really annoying. But single sided swinging arm, LED tail light. From the rear with those pipes, doesn't she look pretty? Full Olin's TTX rear shock. That's actually a higher spec rear shock than what is on the Tuono, or last year's Tuono. Of course it's electronic for this year, but there's a higher spec shock than used to go on the factory Tuonos. But that is a bling -a ding ding So there you go, there's your look at the Speed Triumph RS. Let's jump back on. One thing with these, it's just a little bit annoying. So if I was in 
map mode I was in my own rider customizable mode because I didn't set that before I set off I can't change it and go to that mode now and it doesn't remember that you're in that mode because that was a mode with the traction control off it makes you have to select that every time which is a little bit irritating so I'm gonna have to stop to select that mode now traction control disabled throttle response is lovely even in this is sport there's different throttle responses you know rain mode different throttle responses sport track street this is in sport and the fueling is beautiful there's no snatchiness absolutely beautiful you wouldn't have to change nothing on this you buy this bike it's already got the exhaust on it the throttle response is perfect no more money required it's got self cancelling indicators which you can turn on and off which is quite a nice little option it's got everything really no heated grips is the only thing I've noticed that it could really do with especially in this weather it's now five degrees so heated grips would be nice but if you keep yourself up with some proper winter riding weather like these heated racer gloves then you're sorted the mirrors i love these little triumph bar in mirrors they work very well indeed no vibrations nothing throttle response is so nice no snatchiness just smooth seamless power fueling even around the bottom end of the rev range is absolutely spot on they've done a wonderful job really nailed it oh look at these roads shame they're wet to hang off on but i think it's going to feel lovely why did it have to rain let's go sports and let's see how good the actual traction control is because without it, it's great. <laughs> How intrusive is the wheelie control? I can feel it killing it a little bit there. Ooh, so wetty. Taking a bit of control there as well. You can feel it intruding a little bit, the, uh, the traction control. Not a lot. The Street Triple's a teenager. This is like the middle-aged version of that same bike. A little bit more grown up. A little bit more sensible. But still, underneath all that, <laughs> still owning it. There's a massive bump in the road here. Let's see how the suspension handles that. <laughs> oh, not bad at all actually that actually bottomed out the rocket over there this gold stuff's good I think even in sport mode the traction control and the anti-wheelie could be a little bit intrusive perhaps just a tiny bit just knocks that 5% of fun you could have off of the top it will come up and really a little bit but it more or less kills it straight away as soon as it starts to come up so again you know a little bit more sensible than perhaps how the traction control works on the street triple rs so it, it's it shut down any sort of wheelie there but of course this bike delivers a lot more punch than the street triple so it could be activating earlier because it's putting more grunt through the back wheel another slight annoyance is you can't you know the traction control and anti-wheelie are the same system there's no separate wheelie control from the traction control that is a must these days even the africa twin the new africa twin there's separated wheelie control the traction the tuono separated it that's, that's that's a must on this sort of sports naked wheelie mental machine you need to separate wheelie and traction because i'd quite like some traction to control in these conditions but I can either wheelie or I can have traction <laughs> I want traction and to be able to wheelie thank you even through town low speed throttle response below 2000 revs 
it's just beautiful. I mean, it just pulls. For the, to, that's more or less. That is idle. That grunt it's got from from idle it was really impressive. So what don't I like? It's few and far between what I don't like. Traction and wheelie control tied together. Not so keen on that. No heated grips, but <laughs> it's a sports naked. It's not an all-weather commuter, so that can be excused. There's very... I can't think of anything else I don't like. Wind protection is not a deal of it. You know, you can get little screens to go on top of that, which would help. But again, you're buying a super naked. You're not buying it for weather protection. If it's going to compete with the likes of the Tuono, it does need a little bit more. If it's going to compete with that bike, you know, it's not as crazy fast as the Tuono. It's, it's just not. But it has got enough power. A beautifully smooth, tractable engine. Much more, so, much more tractable than the Tuono at lower revs. I think it's a nicer bike just to cruise and ride around on. As your only bike to do everything on. To, to perhaps do a little bit of touring on, commuting on, and those mad Sunday morning thrashes, and track days of course. I think this is probably a better all-rounder than the Tuono, which is a bit more focused on those Sunday morning thrashes. So I think that's about it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that review. A massive, massive thanks to Destination Triumph for the loan of the Speed Triple. I have got this all week, so I may be out again with this, but if I'm not, because if the weather doesn't play ball, I will be doing a comparison between the Street RS and the Speed RS in the future, when it is dry, when it is a bit warmer. If you want to ride this, this is their demo, so get your asses down there. Um, thanks to Washington Branch especially for dropping this down to me, but any of the Destination Triumphs Branch have got a demo of the speed. So get your bottoms down there and have a ride. I'll see you later guys, take care, ride safe, and I'll see you next time. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. Whoa! I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Whoa! <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> Listen to me. Never mind getting beat up. Give me this any day of the week. <laughs> oh,